Hey guys, welcome to the Elk Shape YouTube channel, Dan the Fitness Man, what's up? So you hopefully you saw the video where we showcased this four month long process of building my home shop gym. Well, now you're wondering, hmm, I wanna do something like that. Or maybe like, man, that guy's crazy. How much did he spend on that? Well, we're gonna show you and divulge all the details of how much money my wife and I spent to build our dream home gym, shop gym, come along. Looks like we have another dragon, Master Ace, spitting the burning passion. It's about to be a catastrophe. He thought I was the only survivor, but at last we meet. Like the food vegans don't eat. I know you can see the infernal blaze. We would probably burn the stage and leave it with third degrees. And inside of us is an internal blaze, blazing eternally like a furnace, but it's so hot it's burning. But I wanted you guys to know that one. I'm, I'm weird, I'm not a normal person. I'm not your average guy. I see a ton of value in being able to walk out my back door and have a nice setup to train. I invest a lot of time inside these four walls and we will for years to come. For my wife and I, we sat down and like, this, this shop gym is going to be an investment. It's not an expense. We will get a return on our investment with the relationships, with our own health and fitness. If you're thinking, wow, must be nice. It is super nice. I started at the bottom of the barrel as a personal trainer, 18 years old. I had to hustle up my own clients, walk the floor and convince people to hire me to be their trainer. And that training job put me through college, put me through grad school, worked my way up to management, started traveling the US training professional athletes, seeking out internships, working, in Arizona and New Jersey. And then I eventually opened up a speed school in Boise, Idaho. Eventually I got the bug to do CrossFit and came back home and opened my own CrossFit gym. Ran that for 11 years, been self-employed for going on 13, 14 years. Love the fitness industry, love helping people, love eliminating excuses and watching people work towards the best version of themselves. From your lens, it might be look like, oh, wow, that's really cool. You're probably spoiled or you probably make a lot of money. No, what you're seeing is I'm, I've been crawling, scratching and crawling my way up this mountain to get to this point. I'm 40 years old. It's taken me basically my whole working adult life to get to the top. And you're looking at the pinnacle. This is where I've always envisioned is having a home gym set up like this. And you're looking at it. Let's talk money. Talk about dollars and cents. People don't like to talk about money. I do, I guess. First off, I'm a guy who's always worked full time since age 18. I don't have a huge plan to like retire and go to Mexico or live down in Arizona and be a snowbird and play golf. That's not me. What I envision is always being fit, active and getting paid to do what I love and it will, I'll never work a day in my life. And so far, so good. But when it comes to dollars, I'm not really a dollar chaser. I'm more of a time chaser. We talk about that. In fact, I'm making shirts that say time chaser. That's it. What that means to me is that I put more value in having autonomy in my schedule. We've talked about this a lot on this channel. I love chasing time. For me, time is like more opportunity to be the coach of my kids' sports or to go take them on adventures and camping and have as much time with my family and then also to have as much time to go chase elk bugles in the mountains out west. It comes down to dollars and cents. I'm gonna keep it super real. We're gonna cut to the chase. We had a budget set aside for this build. We had an opportunity to either A, pay off our house. This is, we own two homes. We have a house in Idaho. We have a house in Washington. We had an opportunity to pay our house off, but we had an opportunity to not pay our house off and to build our dream shop gym. We went with the latter. Here's why. If we write a check for the balance of our house, we still got to pay property tax and we still got to pay insurance and it ends up being 450, 500 bucks a month. Our mortgage right now is dirt cheap. It's like 900 bucks a month. And we paid our house down to get it to that and refinance at a good rate. It doesn't make a lot of sense to use that capital to still have a 450 a month payment. Our capital would have brought our payment down not very much. I don't wanna get in the weeds with this, but you guys need to understand, we made a decision to invest in the property. It, did it increase the value of our home? Probably. Uh, did it increase the value of my wife's and I's schedule, not driving to a gym, not driving back home to a gym? That's 20 minutes both ways. That's 40 minutes, I go to the gym five days a week. You start doing the math, you add that up over weeks, months, years. I just eliminated a ton of time in my vehicle driving to a gym. I eliminated a lot of excuses where I either I missed the, the gym opening um, or my schedule flex that day and I don't have time to work out. I always have time to work out now. There's no excuses. And so that's huge for us. First thing we did was hire a contractor. We, we found, uh, it's called Serious Designs. Hired him. It took him 
two weeks to build the pole building structure, which was awesome. The deal was we were gonna finish the inside. The snag, if you didn't catch in the last video, was that his sub that does the concrete at the very end never showed up. And then he hired another sub, they never showed up. And we went through six different subs and eventually in October, so three and a half, four months later, they finally poured the floor. Total expense, $45,000 to my contractor. What did that include? The pole building, the cement, the doors, the garage door install, the shell, that's it. Pretty expensive, right? That build probably would have cost $15,000, $20,000 less four or five years ago. Obviously with the way things have been going in our economy and whatnot, we built at a pretty a rough time. We had to make a decision. Is the economy gonna get any better? Are the prices ever gonna go down? Do we wanna wait? We did not. So that's what we paid first. Electrical, hired my buddy Drew Howerton. He's an elk killing machine and he's also a commercial electrical contractor. So he came in, he probably gave me a pretty good rate. Probably didn't want me to tell people what I paid, but just around under $7,000 to have him come in, pull a permit, run power from our house to the shop. We got 220 obviously out here so we could have a heater. He did a bang up job, it includes the lights and everything. It's really bright in here. Once we got past our inspection, we were able to do all their outlets and stuff ourselves. And my wife actually did all that, which is super cool. Materials, now this is where I'm just gonna give you a ballpark price because I went to Home Depot like 15 times. Every time I went to Home Depot, it was so expensive buying OSB for the walls, buying two by fours to build the walls, and then insulation for the walls. Insulation's insanely expensive. All the electrical, luckily we had a lot of all the tools and stuff like that, but we did the labor ourselves. I spent around $3,500 in materials to finish the inside that you're looking at. Next up was heat. The debate on heat was, do we want to hire our local utility, have them run a line out of gas, which would probably be a good idea, but we'd already like poured a new driveway. We already ran electrical from the house. We just didn't want to put another trench in our house and dig, ended up going with propane. So we had a propane tank delivered, we leased it, they filled it up and then they set it up to the side of the shop. And then we hired someone to come in and install the heater, which I bought from a local supply company. It was about $2,100 for the heater plus labor for them to get that up there. Jake helped me get it up there. We winched it up. It was awesome. We got our propane in and we'll have to fill our propane tank up probably twice a year. Holds 500 galleries, but this thing is heated off propane. And it's not really about being warm per se. It's just about not letting everything inside freeze. Like I said in the last video, we're a couple hours from Canada, it gets pretty cold in the winter. And so we turn the heat on for about 15 minutes when we get in here while we're warming up and then we turn it off and do the work. It's super nice. Paint, paint's expensive. So we bought uh, a few, you know, buckets, five gallon buckets of primer, primed OSB because it's, you have to. And then Alicia picked out the colors and it was about 300 bucks in paint. Flooring was really expensive. I knew I didn't want to do horse stall mats. I spent $3,300 um, from a company called Great Mats and they that includes freight and everything. They showed up in rolls and we rolled it out and installed it and it's seamless. If you have a smaller space, you might consider horse stall mats, but I knew I wanted a really nice look on the floor. And that was, that 3300 includes the the glue, the adhesive to get it down. We did glue it down and you don't have to glue it down, but we, we always want it to be a gym. And lastly is Rep Fitness. I have an affiliate link. I want you to use that link that supports Elk Shape and that supports Rep Fitness. Let's them know, hey, we are saying good things about you. But Rep Fitness hooked it up, gave me a good rate, but I spent around $12,000 in equipment and got all that in there. So the total for this gym build was $74,000 and change. That's real close to what I owe on my house. And I still owe that on my house. And we're still gonna make our mortgage payments, but we have this awesome place where we can do shared suffering, work out alongside trustworthy peers, work hard every day in the name of better elk hunting, shoot awesome videos. Man, we're just building a community here. It's awesome. If you wanna do the same thing, carefully plan it out, try to pay cash, don't go into debt. We were able to pay cash for this whole build. It was a lot more than we thought. I'll be honest, it's about 25,000 more than we thought, but we're never gonna regret it. And I don't think any of these prices are ever gonna get any lower. And this is our place, this is our sanctuary, this is our, this is our place where we come and we work hard and uh, I'm so honored to share it with you guys. Well guys, if you dig our content, we're pretty regular. We seem to do a lot of archery. We need to do a little more fitness, nutrition. We absolutely love hunting. Really, we love hard work. So if you're into buying hard work, that's what we're selling. Subscribe to the channel, click the bell to be notified when our next video drops. And remember, separation is in the preparation. We'll catch you on the next one.